YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Chris coming at you with a new video. Um, sorry I've been away for a while. Uh, you know, I've still been collecting, but I've been really busy. I'm just going over quickly while I talk. Um, you know, my last video did um, fairly well. I wish it would have did a little bit better, but it did good. You know, it was the Lightning and Thunder pack, which was, you know, one of the best um, collab two pairs ever. I had a couple people say they were fake. I don't know if they were joking or they were really think that my shoes are fake, but hey, whatever, man. Um, maybe you have some fake ones and you're trying to compare your fake ones to my real ones. Uh, I want to ask you guys if you guys can get this video out there. Maybe like uh, recommend it to other people. I'm also on Facebook at I C Y S O L E Z I C Souls at yahoo.com. Um, I'll leave a link to my Facebook. You guys can add me as your friends. And because um, um, whenever I get new releases, I take pictures of my shoes and I put them on Facebook right away. This is one of a few videos I'm going to do today. And I'll be posting them on in the next couple days. One I'm going to do with like a like a shoes that I have of me, my lady, and my son. Um, you see my son has the Olympic 7s now. Um, you know, I went searching for him. I got him Olympic 7s, Fire Red 5s, Aqua 8, Military 4s. Uh, um, we got him um, the Cool Gray 9s, the Flint 9s. We got him the Gray Toe 13s, another pair of Space Jams. We got him um, Blue Stealth 5s. Um, I mean, we got him a gang of shoes. But... You know, those are, he, he, I asked him to do a video, we'll just throw them up in the mix. But anyway, let's start it off. The Great 5, size 9, dead stock. I wear between a 9 and a 10. Um, I haven't rocked them yet, haven't had a reason to. Those are dead stock um, Great 5s. I got another pair of dead stock. I have my other pair in the closet. Um, if you can see right there, those are my Carmines that I wear. I got another pair of dead stock, size 10. Um, countdown pack 13s. These are the countdown pack retros. They're dead stock. Size 10. Flint 13s. These are 2005. These are not the new crappy retros. I have seen the new retros because, you know, a lot of stores have been getting them early. There's no 3M. This, this, I don't know if it's maybe just a few pairs I've seen, but right here was, was really like loose. It they didn't really like the, it wasn't really tight. Made them look really fake, man. Um, you know, a lot of people are going to get them just because, you know, the price is 160 plus tax. I think that's a little extreme. When I pay 200 for the OGs, I'd rather just pay the extra 30 bucks and get another pair of OGs. Um, but, yeah, that's what it is. So, if I do ha end up getting them and I get a good deal on them, I'm going to go ahead and grab them and I'll do a comparison. But I can't count on that. I actually have a, I actually did get a, a, a what do you call it, infrared pack, but it's stuck under my bed. And I have to take the mattresses off to get it, and I'm not going to deal with that today. I'll do another day where I can do the comparison with the True Reds. Um, this one is the Gray Toe, or no, um, Natural Gray. They call them Natural Gray 13s. Um, they were DS when I got them, size 9. I got a good deal on these. I think I got them for like 100 bucks or something. Um, I'll tell you my grand total, what I pay for all these. You guys are going to pretty much, like, crap yourself. I had these DS when I got them. I wore them once, um, about a week or two ago. If you live over here in LA, you know we don't usually get hot weather, but it was 113. I was out to, um, helping coach baseball, and that's what happened. The glue came apart on the soles, and um, the whole actually the whole bottom came off. But when I took it off, the glue I guess reheated it and it came back together. But on this other one, only the inside. Came apart. Um, I paid 150 for those. 150 for these. 100 for these. 200 for these. 130. 140 for these. 140 for these. 200 for these. These I got dead stock. Also, they're still dead stock, as you can see. They're the gray toe, the gray um, stealth tens. 130 for those I paid. These ones I got them very near DS. I just got them on Saturday. I haven't even worn them yet. I paid I think 90 dollars for these. These I bought at Foot Locker. Um, uh, I think I paid 75 for those. I mean, you know, I'm getting good deals here. Paid 100 for those. These are the DS. They've been tried on, of course, but DS. Um, what do you call those? Miss Blue Fours. Paid 210 for these. These are like one of my holy grails. You know, I love this shoe. I would have wore it already, but you, you know. 
Most people don't understand the new collectors that say, you know, real heads rock their shoes. They don't understand that, you know, if we really rock our shoes, let me show you an example of why I don't rock my shoes, all of them. I wore these one time and look what happened. Hold on, that's, hold on, that's not even the, the worst one. One time. Well, I, I wore them one time, it was like in dirt, but still, this should not happen. I mean, look at this shit. So I agree that real heads should wear their shoes, but dude, I mean, at what price do we wear our shoes? At a price where a pair of shoes that are worth, you know, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars, that happens too when you wear them. So, I mean, give some people a break. I wear some of my shoes, I don't wear them all. We're at six minutes into the video. Traded these for some anniversary 11s. I had I had two pairs, size nine. I traded for those. Dead stock, straight up trade. Um, back there, got those VNDS. Uh, I paid 100 bucks for those. Those, I got DS. Those are the Flint 7s. I paid 120 for, uh, well, it was a trade plus cash. So it came out to like one, 150 or so. Levi pack got a DS size 10 with the jeans that fit perfect shirt that fits perfect you never find a Levi pack with with everything fits perfect this is a size 10 the DS I had two size nines I sold them both this is the size 10 I just picked it up 350 bucks rising sun 12s picked those up for about 80 bucks you know, it's just whatever. Jones Beach Air Force Ones, they're pretty fresh. Picked these up for about 60 bucks. These are all DS. These are all real. This is None of this shit is fake. For the prices I pay, I just search around. I don't settle for just anything. You know, I'm not in a rush to buy anything because I have so many pairs. I'm not in a rush. Some of these I have doubles of in my storage. If you see my other videos, you'll see that some of these I might have two pairs already I have I know I have a pair of these I know I have a pair of these that are used in my storage that are just sitting there I think I got those I know I have flint sevens in my storage you know just whenever you you know you, you start accumulating stuff you know you just don't even know what you got anymore um, this stuff is not going to the storage this stuff will be worn but I don't know when you know cuz I'm, I'm scared you know if you wear like these what if these crack what are you gonna do cry when this is like you've been searching for a fresh pair forever these are my holy grail. Picked them up. I've been asking people, you know, to trade for them for a long time. Finally got them. Nike SB Tiffany. 100% authentic. Please don't say my stuff is fake. If it is, don't even don't even waste your time commenting. You see the shiny? You see that? I paid 380 for these. Dead stock size 10 and a half. I've worn them already, of course, because you know. Stuff like this I'll wear. You know, this won't crack. I know this will turn yellow. It won't crack though. I'm going to be doing a, a better video later. I wanted to pull these ones out real quick. Oh, bam. Of course, the lady got the Tiffany's also. Size 6, 200 bucks. Can't beat that. Can't go wrong. They were very near DS for 200 bucks. Got them off of Craigslist. Some chick broke up with her boyfriend. I guess she was mad and just wanted to get rid of them. He bought them for her. Paid top dollar. Flight Club, size 6. VNDS goes for about, I think it was like eight, 900 bucks. So... I won on those. So anyway, so that's my new pickups. I'm running down on nine minutes. I don't want to go over ten minutes because then I can't upload this. So I'm about to wind it down. I also got these De La Souls. I, you know, I did a lot of research because you know at first I thought they were fake, but I did a lot of research and they did. They're real. I traded a uh, CDP 11s for those. I wore them already, of course. You know. I wear all my shoes mostly, but like I said, I'm just scared sometimes because, you know, you collectors know. New guys still don't understand until they buy their first pair and it cracks on them. One more pair. Air Max 90s dead stock. I have another pair in there. I have another pair under the bed. Those are like one of my favorite pairs. So anyways, I'm winding it up. Check me out on Facebook. Check me out. On, you know, I don't do Twitter or MySpace or any of that. Facebook. I-C-Y-S-O-L-E-Z at Yahoo.com. Later.